Hello, hello, friends. It is your girl, Lizzie Morris, or my friends like to call me the woman's advocate. And welcome to the show. It has been a hot minute. How are you? Uh, go ahead, get you some water. Let's get hydrated together. Okay. And um, I just, I'm really excited to chat with you guys because I, uh, I want to talk about doing things that make you nervous or doing things that scare you. And we're going to basically call this follow the puke. Okay. Um, and so it really hit me uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I was, I think it was yesterday, I don't know, someday in the last couple of days, I was taking my kids for a walk and I remembered that I started this podcast. I literally recorded episode number one when I was, I don't know how, a couple months along with my second and I was pushing my first in a stroller around our neighborhood, just like I was doing the other day, but now I have two of the babies. And I remember how long I had wanted to make a podcast, like for years and years and I just didn't know like what to do or how to begin. And, and it was scary. Like, I was like, what am I going to talk about? Are people actually going to listen to me? Um, do I have anything to say? And, you know, I had over 700 like plays last year. And I mean, that is incredible. And so I was sitting there and I was like, you know, I haven't been uploading as often as, as I would like. And I actually have so many big plans for the podcast in 2023. And I'm really, really excited about it. But as I was, um, I was thinking back to it. I was like, you know, there are so many things that I've done in my life that, and so many other people, you know, that have inspired me to follow the puke. Like I, I was scared. My stomach was in knots when I pressed uh, post, when I took the picture for the cover photo at the time, when I, when I did everything, when I named the podcast, when I said I had to, I was so stressed out, like having to search, how do I make my podcast available on Spotify and Apple? And cause I wanted everyone to be able to listen to it. And I was like, this is it. I had to get approved and it wasn't like a horrible process, but it just kept feeling like, Oh my gosh, am I supposed to be doing this? Cause this is like, ah, it's stressful and scary. And I don't know. Um, and now like we're at this place where I see the podcast going major, major places. And I have, uh, like aspirations to be on other people's podcasts. I have aspirations to invite guests on. I have all these different topics. I w- I'm really excited to talk about and bring awareness to. And, um, the, you know, the podcast really helped me bring my voice out, um, even more than just the social media posting, because it kind of felt like for a while, no one was listening, even though I had listeners. Um, it's, it's, somewhat different than social media because it's like I can't even tell who listened you know over social media you could at least see who liked it who loved it but when it's a podcast it's like you got to rely on uh people giving you reviews or something which by the way if you guys ever want to review the podcast um give it an honest review but you know five stars wouldn't hurt um you can go do that on the app store and I would love if you shared and tagged me on Instagram at the Lizzie Morris um all of that's always linked in the show notes but I would I would love to see um get you guys' feedback and, um, you know, let me know that you rated it and and shared because I would love to enter you guys into my share giveaways that I do every week on my IG stories. So don't forget to do that. Make sure you follow on all the platforms as well. Uh, while you're listening, you can go do that and you can always share the direct link of the podcast with a friend. Um, if there's ever an episode that resonates or, um, again, you can DM me things that you want to see, um, in the future. I would love to get your guys' feedback because I love doing this for me, but I also love doing it for other people. So, that's just something I wanted to mention as well. Um, I think I had a point to that. Now I (laughs) think we lost that train of thought. Oh, maybe back to follow the puke, right? Um, so it's really, really interesting to have this, this vision now. And I think sometimes we, we have these, these thoughts in our head of something we want to do. Um, and maybe there's like a vision starting to bloom, right? Maybe it's like a flower, um, that's, you know, on the edge of blooming, but it's not there yet. Or maybe you're like, sorry, I'm outside and it's raining and cars are going by, but this is how I get the time away from the kids is sitting outside. <laughs> so, uh, I have no disruptions, but, um, cause their daddy's in there with them. Don't worry. Don't worry. But with that being said, there are people that I know 
have so much like everyone has potential right everyone has greatness within them everyone has the ability to be confident and to have success whatever that measurement is for you it's going to look different but everyone has um it it within them to do the things that they want to do right And, and it's just a lot of times you could be on the edge of blooming and you never move forward with it because of the fear and so then the flower just never blooms or what I was the other uh example I was going to use is like a butterfly imagine if a butterfly in the middle of the what I metamorphosis chrysalis I don't know look I am not good in science but I can tell you that I I know butterflies trans or (laughs) caterpillars transform into butterflies so imagine if like during that process when their whole body turns to mush or whatever if they just stopped like could you imagine like nature doesn't there are so many processes and and things in nature where these they let it flow even during the uncomfortable even during the harsh even during the winter the spring the summer the fall so many things persevere and adapt um and they they just go with it they just go with i mean you know are they really feeling anxious I don't know (laughs) but do plants I mean I know there's some evidence coming out that plants have feelings now but listen I'm still gonna eat my vegetables but um you know you have to follow that uncomfortable feeling to flow along with life and continue to cast this vision of what you want because so many of the things that we aspire to have (laughs) there's people running inside uh I don't know if you guys heard that person screaming that was funny but (laughs) uh, but anyway there are so many things that if you followed that uncomfortable feeling like we're not here to harp on the past I'm not here to like beat you up and be like you could have done all these things no we're, we're focusing on moving forward but I do want you to think of the times that you were scared the times you were uncomfortable and if you would have followed after that feeling because it wasn't I, I know it feels like fear but it's more of discomfort right it's it's not fear of oh a tiger's gonna get me it's not fear of oh I'm gonna go to jail it's not fear of oh I'm you know I mean maybe it's a fear of like someone's gonna disown you but it's probably someone that doesn't deserve to be in your life anyway (laughs) you know we have these fears that aren't going to put us in real danger um it's just this like discomfort and anxiety that is the human um condition you know like we have just conditioned like have this condition to look for um something going wrong like it's within us and it's within us now we're in us in a place in society in this day and age where we don't need to be on the lookout for danger 24 7 the same way we did you know hundreds of years ago so we have to rewire ourselves we have to be i mean obviously there's only so much rewiring of the human condition but we have so much power we we absolutely can say you know what this feels uncomfortable let me use my actual my human logical mind instead of my animalistic mind that's trying to keep me safe let me use my logical mind that knows that yes this is uncomfortable yes this feels scary it feels like i don't know what i'm doing it feels like i feel stupid i feel embarrassed i feel this i feel that because i'm not comfortable doing this but you know what the only way to get comfortable doing it is by doing it so i gotta push through this weird ass feeling of oh my gosh i've never done a facebook live before and I'm, I'm, I'm on there and I'm stuttering, right? And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm staring at myself. I'm staring to see if anyone's hopping on and no one's hopping on. So then I'm like, uh, I'm just sitting there in silence and it feels weird, right? And now I get on live and I'm like, I'm going through it. I'm just flowing through the motions. I'm like, hey, what's up, you guys? Like, let's, let's do this thing. And I'm talking and I flow. That's because I was uncomfortable for a really long time. And so I understand and I want to validate that if you have something you want to chase after that feels like you get a knot in your stomach, like you're going to throw up, like follow that puke. Okay, because a lot of times on the other side is the real you. And I think a lot of us have been shunned and afraid and um, torn down by other people, whether it was in our childhood or some point in our lives. Um, where we don't want to show up as our authentic selves. And so a lot of the fall of the puke moments is your authentic self screaming your highest self, the version of you that is in a parallel universe that has all the, all of the things that it wants and is very um, abundant and happy and, and grateful and full of joy and gratitude and has just is taken care of, you know, 
that highest self is screaming at you. And that's that, that's that feeling. They say the Holy Spirit, um, is your gut. And they actually say our second brain lives in our gut, by the way. And so we have to differentiate, okay, is this fear of something really bad happening? Or is this fear of success, fear of, um, actually being the true version of me, um, by chasing after this goal, by, by, choosing this path by choosing to do xyz um and this is very generic so i'm gonna cut it off here but i know that you guys know of something that's going on maybe in your life right now or some maybe it's something that's happened in the past but there's probably something going on in your life right now where you need to make a decision or um you have something that's on your mind and you're like, Ugh, I'm scared of what people are going to think about me. I'm scared that, uh, like I might fail. I'm scared that I'm not good enough. I, I feel like I suck. Uh, there's no way I'm worthy of building a business. I'm no, I'm not worthy of sharing my story. I'm not worthy of, uh, taking care of my health and losing weight. Like there are so many things that we sit there and, and lie to ourselves and stay in this comfortable yet uncomfortable life because of, what we're, we're scared to step out of our comfort zone. So this is my, this is my encouragement of the day. Follow the puke, listen to your gut, the Holy spirit. I'm telling you, it lives in your gut. The second brain is in your gut. Your gut knows. And this is also another validation that your gut instinct is enough. That's another thing. Your gut instinct is enough. Um, but I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. If you found any value in this, please share with a friend. Uh, let me know that you shared. Tag me on your socials at the Lizzie Morris. Again, follow in all the ways in the show notes. Um, and definitely check out my website. I have lots of fun resources on there, whether you're looking to grow a business on social media, just share your story more, um, looking to better your health, better your, your energy levels, all of the things I would love to talk and collaborate with you. So definitely check all that out. But I I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the podcast and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.